Right, well this is entertaining. The synth has run off somewhere. Um, I have no idea where I'm supposed to be meeting the father. Um, so, I'm... Oh, screw it. Screw it, let's have some fun. Oh shit, I managed to get one of them. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going with this thing. Where am I supposed to go? Up? Down? Quad ah! shot! No, not really. Don't like your ugly mug. Disgusting. Always brings a whole new meaning to, uh... What? Scared already? Grab your butt cheeks and kiss your ass goodbye, almost. Why am I supposed to be taking this? I'm supposed to be talking to the father. There was one the other end, wasn't there? Oop, nope. Yeah, mine, you bastard. Right. Yeah, that one, you went down the side there. Ooh, hello. Okay, I'm. Um, I think I'm... Ooh, hello, there it is. Right. Wow. Yeah, it's a beautiful view, actually. Apart from the spazzing up textures there. You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason, but now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. And there is future. It wasn't always like this. It used to be different. I can only imagine, standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. They left me on ice for 60 years. They did. And for good reason. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within it the vault. Killed your mom. I'll admit. When I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. So it was you. You let me out. Yes. 
It was my decision. Certainly it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what Our would son. happen. An experiment of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you... After all this time... Attempt to find me. And now I know the answer. Sean, you need to know. I still love you. I can see that you do. It's... Feels... Well, it's remarkable. Soon, I hope... I hope you'll understand. Everything I've done has been for the future. A future which I hope is not in jeopardy after recent events. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? We were totally ambushed. They were waiting for us. You can imagine that I find that very hard to believe, given that all the intelligence leading up to this indicated we'd taken them by surprise. Bunker Hill was to cement your place as a valuable asset to the Institute. Mm. It will now only raise suspicions. And to see the Brotherhood of Steel involved in this? They had no way of knowing what was going on. I will refrain from sharing the outcome with the Directorate for the moment. Things are already in motion oh, that this would only derail. Speaking of which, it's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, uh, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in. Uh... <laughs> I don't want to do this. From what I hear, that rogue scent at Libertalia was a real menace. Glad it's back where it belongs. Oh, it's going to raise suspicions if I start releasing the synths. I can't in all conscience just leave something that is technically intelligent. Let's get this directorate meeting over with before we speak further. Uh, it's... Well, it's important. Fudge. I knew I should have just said no, I'm sorry. Can you not kind of give them the option if they want to see what it's like out there? I thought all the surface people look like monsters, but you seem pretty normal. Operating at full capacity. That's because there are normal people out there. All maintenance requests should be directed to the facilities division. Something about disappearing sense. Good, we're all here. I think it's time we begin. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is he doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. Do I need to take a seat? The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ayo has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes. Um, watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on phase three? Uh, sir, are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given well, considering all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about Phase 3? I don't think so. It's all right. I wouldn't expect you to have. The project has been classified from the beginning. Power is 
as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. What kind of compromises? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, but no longer. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Can you tell me more about this reactor? Certainly. It was originally built for the Commonwealth Institute of Technology before the war, but was only for testing. Over the years, okay. we've advanced the technology, made a great many improvements, and are finally nearly ready to activate it. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to phase three, and to how you will help. Sir. Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? Well, he is gone. While I'm not overly fond of putting my own father in harm's way, he has proven more than capable of handling himself. Uh, y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. Why? Please, be serious. everyone, please, I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you, but we're running out of time. There must be something we can do to help you. The only thing that matters now is continuing the Institute's work. It will be all right. I assure you, we can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my father as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my father has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. My compliments on getting V-592 back to us so quickly. Yeah. You really don't like me, do you? No, you don't. I can see it in your face. So it's glares. Oh dear. Right, before my little chat with father, I'm gonna leave it there, so I'll see you in the next one.